Well, I figured I'd show you guys a little update on uh, my waste vegetable oil and used motor oil and whatever else I run in my truck. But uh, my little system here I got going. Um, I was before using just this uh, barrel I got in here to fill my truck, that one right there. But uh, it's a pain in the ass and it takes up space in here. So I thought of this idea. I got uh, an old Getty gas pump from uh, a diesel pump, whatever you want to call it, from a buddy of mine, and um, pop the panel open for you on it. Now these are not, they're called pumps, but they're not actually pumps. They don't pump any fluid, you know? They don't pump any fuel. They're actually dispensing units. A pump feeds this, and there was two big um, cylinder looking things in here that would actually count the gallons of fuel and dispense it and, you know, read it up on the display. And I tried wiring it, and looking at diagrams on the internet, and I couldn't get it to work. I could get the displays to light up, but I couldn't ever get it to count fuel. So I ripped all that out, gutted it, um, built this little bracket in here, put a little cheapy Harbor Freight pump in it, and uh, it's routed up to the tank here, which I'll get to in a second. And then it comes out through this uh, fuel filter. That fuel filter is probably shot, but still pumps fuel through it, so it's, it's good. But, um, yeah, eventually I'm going to, you know, probably maybe try to restore this, you know, polish out the chrome or something like that, uh, redo these, because, I mean, it's pretty cool, you know, it's not every day you see one of these, and, uh, I'll show you the tank I got, I got this from a guy off Craigslist here for 25 bucks, it's, um, 275 gallons, and, uh, it's got three, you know, uh, ports in the top, that one I plugged. This one, uh, he had a gauge with it, so I took the gauge. It's got uh, a little less than a quarter tank of uh, oil in it, which I was just fueling up my truck over there. I'm not done yet, but um, I figured I'd make a video before I finish. And this one here, I'm going to make like a stand pipe that goes up and uh, with a vent on it, because this actually builds pressure, of course, in the sun. We don't want that. And this is where I fill it, and I welded a uh, one-inch piece of pipe with a shutoff about six inches up from the bottom. That runs through the hose into the pump. And I uh, got your fuel handle, your hose, and uh, I actually rigged the wiring up for the switch um, to the pump. So that actually works. And uh, I'll show that to you. I'll grab the uh, fuel nozzle here. I put it on this side because it keeps the hose out of the way. Um, get this. Flip this up. See if I can do this one handed. There we go. We're fueling up. Makes it much imp much easier, much simpler to uh, fuel up. You know, I'm not farting around with the battery and pump this and you know uh, change a pump here and put it in here and crap like that. This I just pull up when I need it pump it in and I'm done. And uh, that little Harbor Freight pump uh, works pretty good. You can see the flow right at, out of it. Looks pretty good. We're almost full here actually. But uh, yeah, too bad the automatic shutoff didn't work because this is an automatic shutoff handle. Uh, but the oil's too thick, it, it doesn't click off. But yeah. That's my, uh, that's my set off here. Well, I better shut that off. We're getting a little full. And, uh, I know you're probably going to say, you know, the pump doesn't have a bypass valve, and, you know, it's not good to shut it off like that. But, um, I've been doing it for years. I got another one inside the same pump that runs the, uh, processing unit where I actually heat the oil up, so... Never had a problem with it. I put thousands of gallons through it. And that's it. Simple as that. Eventually I want to get the uh, display here maybe to light up and something. I don't know. Give me some good ideas maybe and uh, I'll do it and make another video.